We're running! Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the latest in hobby robotics. My name is Fritz Lüneborg, I am from Denmark. I am sitting in Denmark in my workshop in Denmark. On my left via Skype I have Rick from Holland. He's in Holland, he speaks, do well he does speak English but we have funny accents, we know. Now there is a saying uh, that, that, that goes uh, for robots in my opinion as well as it uh, goes uh, for, for, for men. For, for, for mankind. Uh, the robot, uh, the saying is uh, make love, not war. And I just think it's, I think it's a good thing to, uh, to keep in mind. But I know that you guys out there, all you want to see is fights. So here it is for you. We have a sumo special. Rick, tell me, what is, what is the basic concept with sumo robots? The basic concept is two of them, two robots on the table, and they start pushing, and, and the, the robot that remains on the table the longest wins. Yeah, and you have a, a, a markup on the on, on the table. There's a it's a ring, so uh, and and the robot is uh, is capable of looking down and looking forward, uh, so you can see yes. uh, whether it's outside of the ring or not, and uh, it can uh, see the other robot. What I'm saying, see here, it's it's and it's, it's, it's sensing whether there is black or white underneath it, or uh, sensing whether or not there is something in front of it. It started in 1989 in Japan, uh, only like uh, 150 robots uh, competed in the first competition, but nowadays it's, it's, it's all over the place, it's global, uh, the YouTube is full of it, and it, it's, it's just funny to watch, and it is wicked interesting to build one, or even better, two little robots. And, and the first Japanese robots, uh, they, they are nowadays a class of their own, they are as big as a shoebox, but nowadays, uh, with, with with the tiniest electronics and tiny little pager motors, they can be as small as your thumb or even your pinky. Uh, 10 millimeters is the smallest class, and that's the maximum size for an entire robot. That's amazing. Making a sumo robot uh, can be a very good uh, project to uh, to do if if you even if you are uh, if you're not that experienced in building robots. I mean, all you need to do is, uh, you need to have a robot that, that can uh, sense what is underneath it and, uh, and needs to be able to, uh, to see what is in front of you. And then you can just program it to, uh, to run around and to drive around and push the other one off the table. And I would recommend, uh, if, if you're doing ro sumo robots, I would recommend you to uh, build two right, right away because it is so much more fun. I mean, you can train with one and make it push. Uh, cups out of the ring and stuff like that, but it's so, so much more fun if you make two and, and, and you can put them in the ring together and then you can optimize the code for one and see if it's uh, beating the other one. Now Rick, something that has nothing to do with Sumos is uh, Anton's project. It's a very impressive project. We met the guy, uh, both of us, uh, when, when some, of us, some of us teamed up in Spain about a year ago. Yes. And uh, I talked to Anton about this uh, project, and uh, he told me that that he 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 actually sat on the robot at once uh, at one point. It is that robust, um, which I think is amazing. Because how much time did he spend on building this thing? Well, I, I don't know. I, I suppose his entire engineering study. Uh, he he graduated his his PhD on this project. It is awesome. It is uh, it is lean. It is versatile. It's mobile. And it is ready to be uh, outfitted with all kinds of tools or sensors or whatever. It, it really is a generic platform, and it, it it looks like it's ready to go up to Mars, which is in fact Anton's ambition to one day uh, <laughs> help building Mars rovers and uh, and stuff like oh, that. Oh, okay. I mean, even though this thing is looking uh, uh, machine and and fabric machine made and fabricated, it is actually done by hand every single part. He really made this robot. It's very impressive. Yes, he knows every little nut and uh, and bolt in that thing. Yeah. Okay. And the programming, of course. There is some wicked programming inside that thing. You look at that thing. Go over all kinds of different surfaces and, mm. and obstacles. And mm. he's not avoiding the obstacles. He's he's negotiating them. That's impressive as well. Impressive stuff. Okay. Thanks very much for this time. Hope you got inspired. See you next week. Yeah, see you next week, Fritz. Cheers. Bye.